Hi everyone, I'm Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to go through a bunch of don't do this picks that I have in our databases because they're great educational tools. If you see the mistakes of others, you'll obviously, hopefully, avoid those mistakes and learn in the process uh, that this is not easy, it's complicated, and that's why a lot of people fail. So in this first pick, you can see it's a gymnasium, and they had good instincts. They covered a certain amount of square footage on each wall, but the problem is, look how thin the panels are. There's way too thin. You're never going to get enough of that 125 to 500 hertz region. So this is why they're calling us, because it's not doing it. Look at the floor. Look at the size of that hard surface. And then hard surfaces on the walls too. So you can't use one inch thick panels, you know, to do that. You can see in this picture, they've put them on the other walls too. So they had the right instincts. They were covering a certain amount of surface area and running some rough numbers. It looks pretty close to me, but they're not using the right rate and level of absorption. So what's the sense of, of doing that? You know, that just doesn't make any uh, sense at all. So that's, that's a big problem. Um, let's see. This next photo, you can see it's a, a little two-channel room set up. But unfortunately, it's more decorative than it is functional. Placing, you know, absorption in the corners of the room and at different spots throughout the room, that's, you can't calculate that those are the areas of the problems. You have to treat the whole surface area because you, you don't know where the problem is. And if you treat just part of it, which this photo shows, you're only treating part of the problem. So... Absorption on the rear wall, I don't know what those pieces are on each side of it, but, you know, you you got to treat the whole surface area. Here we have, looks like the front of the same room. So we have two-dimensional diffusion on the front wall. Now, I, we don't subscribe to two-dimensional diffusion on the front wall. Two-dimensional diffusion is really to minimize the impact of distance. Two-dimensional diffusion would be used on the rear wall where the distances are too small for one-dimensional. That's the guideline that you have to use. Here, we don't have small distances. We have quite a bit of distance. So one-dimensional diffusion would add dramatically to the presentation value of this room. Corner traps once again, and then a few wall-hanging panels. But you know, once again, not using the right technology to treat the right stuff. Okay, we're back to our auditoriums here. Same situation in this picture. You see good instincts, surface area coverage, but obviously not enough. The brown panels at the top are the treatment. Maybe the ones underneath are too, but they're not thick enough in any situation to really have an appropriate impact. In this picture here, we just have too much clutter again on the front. We have speakers next to speakers. We have equipment racks in the middle. Never have an equipment rack that reaches up into the mid and the tweeters range. If you draw a horizontal line across that middle sound stage from the tweeter to the mid range, tweeter to tweeter and mid range to mid range, Gear should be no higher than the bottom of that line, the second line. That's a good guideline. Then, of course, the screen in the middle, which just compounds the problem. Hopefully, you'll learn a, a few things from other um, people's mistakes. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. 
There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.